Hey LinkedIn. Now today I want to talk about something that I'm always talking about with my clients and with my students and it's something that we're quite ingrained into doing naturally and then we need to remove ourselves from it. The title of this video is Explanations Are Expensive. Explanations are expensive and what do I mean by that? Well principally this is about people being able to guess at your offering and guess at what you do. It's very common, particularly when it comes to naming businesses, products or services or anything like that. It's quite common for people to pick things that they like, they have preference for, or it has meaning to them. Naming businesses in particular. So when you name your children, your pets, whatever, we pick the names that matter to us and the things that we like. Of course we do, it's human nature. But if you use that approach with your business, product or service, it's not actually commercially viable. And this is what I mean by expensive. So take the name of my business, for example. So I trade under clear sales message. I'm very confident that anybody, as long as they speak English and as long as they're an adult, anybody could guess at what I do and they should be absolutely right or at least in the ballpark. They're at least gonna be able to have a guess at what they think I do and they should be there. They should be on the right lines. Clear sales message. Now imagine if I named my business James Newell Consulting. Look at the contrast in those two things. And more importantly, look at the contrast from a client's point of view. So if a client is presented with two distinct options, James Newell Consulting and Clear Sales Message, just from the name alone, just from the website alone, the URL, which one do you think they're gonna choose? Which one do you think is more likely to help them and to solve their issues? You see, most of our messaging has to actually stand on its own. So a name has to be able to stand independently. So does your website URL, your web address, your tagline, your call to action, any of this kind of stuff. If we isolate them off, can they actually explain what you do? And if they can't because you've named yourself after a certain constellation of stars or a certain place where you met your uh, other half or something like that, then yes, it might be great for you and it's meaningful and it's all lovely, but in the cold, hard, brutal world of commerciality, I'm gonna beat you every time because my messages are gonna be more clear and more obvious basically and easier for people to understand. So the message for today is expensive, expensive is explanations are expensive if you have to explain something to me if there's a story behind the name of your business product or service or if you have to intervene to connect the dots for me so I understand something then that is a commercial impediment it's probably costing you money and it probably already has cost you money for people that didn't understand or connect with what you do or just couldn't be bothered to go for the rigmarole of trying to connect the dots and they went for an easier alternative so are you explaining things clearly enough do the names of your business product or service explain what you do or were they named because of your personal preference because if they were I strongly advise you to consider changing them or altering them in some way because explanations are expensive. That's it for today. Take care, LinkedIn.